people where we live now. This is global. And in South Africa! Yeah. It's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's up? World. What's going on? We still alive. No nuclear war yet. So that's beautiful. Yep. Guan is so far everybody okay? Yeah. And but they're ready to go. They say and uh, uh, I think so next week. North Korea is supposed to start war, and we start war, and we're not. I United mean, we, States. we 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 not the states, but so we right beside them. No. So if they start bombing and they missiles get fucked, well, we can be hit because they're gonna be going all over the place. So uh, yeah. Maybe this Brutnegatki number 14 gonna be our last one. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I would be pissed if you were bombing us before McGregor fight. Before McGregor yeah, fight? Yeah, that was, was terrible. I'm gonna, I gonna be crazy. No. It's just the biggest game of chicken I've ever seen. Between Trump... Called? And Ugangu. <laughs> and Pingling Ding. Yeah. And fucking. Ping. North Korea has nothing to gain if they bomb the United States. They'll just get wiped out if they do it. They gain nothing from hitting Guam. And then the United States gains absolutely nothing when they take out fucking but North would Korea. You, you know what? Literally, this... no state or country gains anything if any of them shoot anything at anyone. You know what they said yesterday on the Fox News? I gonna say something about Fox News. I don't watch Fox News. I don't exactly. Watch TV. You should watch it. I don't watch TV. I Holy don't shit! TV. Every chick is more gorgeous than other chick. Yeah, that, I think so. They hire them by fucking standards of better. And uh, I, I tell you, run away. Yesterday was big thing in Charlotte. Uh, white premises. The white Cocos supremacist uh, attack uh, the freaking country. I mean the city. No, Beat up every it was black people. It was just a white lives matter rally. Basically, yeah, but still, but with so much violence. To no, one point. Listen, when one point. The guy was fucking driving behind the car, smashed the car, he was chasing somebody, then he back up from the car, and turn around and go back, and then run to fucking all people, like, Yeah, just ran them over. And then, I think so that he was scared about something chasing him, but right now, the FBI, everything chasing him. Six people injured. Yeah. And this Duke guy from KK and the white Nazis, he non-stop saying he loved Donald Trump. Donald Trump said he have nothing to say with the Ku Klux Klan and the white Nazis, but he said, we're going to do America, we're going to have America back. I and there's, there's was, I didn't hear anywhere it was Ku Klux Klan even involved yeah, what, in yes, this protest. All, all, it was just 7,000 white people. Having a White Lives Matter yeah, rally yeah. with torches. Yeah. Talking about how white lives matter. Yeah. Then other white people were getting mad at those white people. And then after they started fighting each other. And then one guy got arrested and six people got hurt. And on top of that, a guy went with a car running mm -hmm. over people in a protest in Virginia. But I don't know if it's the same protest. Yeah, that's the same thing. That's the I don't know because the everywhere time in Virginia. Because everywhere I'm looking for, like looking at the guy running over people on that protest, and doesn't mention anything of the White Lives Matter rally or those supremacists walking around. Oh, it says it's, I watch. It says it's just a protest. I know you see it. Then fine. I on the Fox News. I have live coverage, and I was watching everything. And I tell you, White House and everybody said they nothing to do with Ku Klux Klan and everything. They just crying like crazy. And the guy from Nazi party who is Duke something. 
the yeah. head office. He was over there and everything, and it's ridiculous how many. And they, uh, Ku Klux Klan. But anyway, I was tuning to the Fox News, which was on YouTube, because I didn't watch on Fox News, but on YouTube, everything is for Fox News. And I was watching yesterday, and I tell you, women, whoo, I don't care who run who, I just want a next correspondent, and the next chick is better looking than the next chick. And I'm like, holy, I was watching almost two hours. Wow. I count like... Seven awesome checks on news. Yeah. Holy macro people. If you wanna look nice checks, go to Fox News. Honest to God. Amazing. Mm -hmm. They should cover everything. They should tell me the bad news, I will be happy. Yeah. Today rain. Wow. She's so cute. And everything. Very nice, very nice. Do you uh, even remember any of their names? Yeah, uh, Jessica Big uh, Nipple. Uh, after was uh, Corina Long Lips. <laughs> no, I don't remember nothing but complete ridiculous. They always have a setup two checks, or one check, two guys, or two checks, or one checks, two guys, Ho or one check and two checks and one guy on the corner. Nobody care about guy. Unbelievable, beautiful people. Honest to God. There's no and yesterday in Charlotte Town, this correspondent who she was like, Whoo! Mm -hmm. She was so hot. I was listening all details without even <laughs> blinking. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so that's beside this sad information. It's a beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a Gregor fight in 13 days. Is it 13 days that soon? The McGregor fight? Yeah, it's almost two weeks only. Less than yeah, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Yesterday was 14 days. Today is 13 days. Because they have countdown on UFC.com or Apple TV. We're going to see Mayweather knock out. Conor McGregor. No, six, it's not gonna happen. Six round knockout. Oh, this was one guy who is boxer, and he was sparring him right now. They put posted on P, uh, TMZ how McGregor knocked him down. It was some kind of. It doesn't oh, matter. He's not Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But no, he, it doesn't matter. The, he's not Floyd Mayweather. No, no, no. But the point was the Mayweather, uh, the McGregor. Sorry, don't know how punching. And fighting professional boxing. That guy who he just knocked down, he was in top, let's say, 15 behind the Mayweather, whatever. So good. So that's proved the point. No, that, but no, no. 15... Let me finish. Let me finish. That proved the point. McGregor have some kind of. And yesterday, this one guy, uh, the analyst from boxing, said he have one punch. Who no boxing gonna catch it. He have some move, one move. He said that's gonna be effective. And if you he use this, May Mayweather is in a big fucking trouble. Because they never use this fucking move. So because he saw him from this training video. Yeah. What you just we were just watching. And he watched him and he said from this one point, that's only one distinct move he saw. It's really difficult for any boxer catch it. So that's he has something in his arsenal who is that weapon, which gonna be like this. Ah 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 mm. trainer. Okay, switch switch to the uh, switch to the left, whatever. Ah ah okay, use the last force what we was talking about. The special punch. Poof. Woo! Lights out, McGregor for a win. Mayweather has literally seen everything, though. No, not this one. No, he's seen. He's fought guys who are left-handed. No, 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 no. Fought guys I who know, are aggressive. But that's he's that had four typical left-handed. No, you don't understand. Four, he has beaten 49 professional boxers, including Manny Pacquiao, twice. 
Like, what do you not understand that Mayweather is going to win? I just, I, you know, shit can happen. He has so much knowledge, Mayweather, about fighting and dodging everything. Like, it's just like Conor McGregor is literally just walking in to make his name bigger. At the end of the day, McGregor does not care if he wins or loses. He's going to entertain the fact that he wants to win. But the fact is he's only doing it to make his name bigger. To make his uh, McGregor Sports Entertainment Company bigger. And to just promote himself as an individual bigger. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to him if he wins or loses. That's what people don't understand. With Mayweather, he's literally going to walk in, become 50-0. and 0. You can't count as 50 0. It is. It's a the, boxing match. It's a professional yeah, boxing yeah, match. Yeah, you're right in this situation. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can't count yeah. it as a boxing match. He's yeah. going to be 50 and 0 and retire as a 50 and 0 boxer with five world titles. Mayweather or, has or, five boxing okay. championships. I know, but the, I think Mayweather right has now. two UFC championships. There's a. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah, but look how old he is. He how much he accomplished this guy and how accomplished this guy. He just started, McGregor. He's only twenty two. What do you want? Twenty two. He's twenty eight. Who? McGregor. McGregor's twenty two. He's twenty eight. Twenty eight? I'm thinking he's twenty two. He said. Oh no, it's twenty two different. Two, two years different between them. So what? The man. If you if you uh, McGregor is uh, twenty. Four and so uh, how my, how old is May, Mayweather? Like me, fifty? No, forty something. He always said, "I feel I may be forty something." I no idea what you're talking about, but Mayweather's in his forties. That's what I'm saying. He's forty. So between them is twenty two different. McGregor's twenty eight. Okay, I will be checking. They're this. like twelve to fifteen years apart. Twenty two, they said. Because Mayweather is not even close to 50. He's like 40 something. He's like early 40s. But I'm telling wait, you, there's wait. no... The only way McGregor's going to win is if he goes 12 rounds with him and just hits him a bunch of times in 12 rounds. He's going to crash him. He have unbelievable power. You don't understand how fast... Okay, can, can I say just something? Mayweather is. Like, no one understands. How old is Gregor McGregor? Do you even know? Connor, no, can I talk? Well, clearly you don't know how to talk. <laughs> how old is Gregor Gregor? <laughs> if you shut up, I can say it right. Oh, okay. Sure. How old is Connor McGregor? Oh, Siri is so smart. If you shut up. <laughs> it's ridiculous how you're yapping all the time. Fucking iPhone's amazing. Siri knows Quiet. everything. How old is Connor McGregor? How old is Carl number Gregor? <laughs> okay, go ahead. One more time. <laughs> Ten, shut ten up. Time is the shut up. How old is Conor McGregor? Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Or twenty nine. Okay. He born on July 14, nineteen eighty eight. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Oh. Wait. And Floyd Mayweather forty years even. Yeah. So they're like thirteen eleven years apart. They're eleven years apart. Not twenty two years apart. Why are they saying? That's what uh Conor McGregor was just saying in this interview. He said when he was younger. Yeah. Coming up, listening to Mayweather, he said, even even though I never heard Mayweather really talk shit about UFC before, or like MMA, he 
never heard him talk shit, but McGregor said he was talking shit about MMA before, so I don't know. So anyway, never heard anywhere. So <clears throat> I gonna receive hundred dollars cash. I'm gonna receive twenty dollars. <laughs> okay. I'm speaking first. Okay. You have a chance. Okay. I gonna receive my hundred dollars and I wanna apologize to me and you gonna say I don't know nothing about fighting games ever. Yep. And then if you win, I gonna say you was right. But if I gonna win, I want hundred dollars. I want uh, twenty two push ups from you. No, there's no push ups. What do you mean push ups now? Like push ups. Uh, there's no push ups. Push ups. I'm not doing push ups. You're doing push ups. No. And saying I don't know nothing about fighting games. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not I. I'm not gonna ever bet with you anymore. Thank you. Because I know. On the August twenty sixth night, which is gonna be August twenty seventh. McGregor Isn't it August twenty eighth. It's twenty six. Fight. Isn't it twenty eight? See, well, my point is, the guy don't know nothing. And this fight is so promoted, and he still don't know I which don't, day. I, I he gonna have... show up on a Monday, say, I'm waiting. <laughs> Everybody gone already. <laughs> so, yeah. 26 August, which is Saturday. And night, uh, I don't know, Showtime have a, gonna have a, what kind of card. But they supposed to put some cards. Who gonna fight with who because it's boxing shit? Yeah, they have to put up. And fights. yeah, I wait. I try order this thing on UFC.com yesterday. Yeah. And some kind of freaking problem popping out say my email is not my email. So they try to tell me, like they tell me my hand is not my hand. Which is you see how this frustrated. Hello. She got Woo! She found you a hat. Found it and lost and found at work. Big one? I yeah, know. it is medium. Big. Medium it's large. Medium. That's really. It fits you. Smallish. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Tishenka. What? And I got Grinchy a jacket too, but Grinchy says, I don't want to get a jacket. What jacket? Show him. Well, I'm going to show him now. We're trying to do a show. Nice jacket. jacket. Let's let's me uh, let's me. Uh, that's a special uh, report right now. Like, what company? Oh, there's like what company? I don't know. They say on the uh, uh, watch no. out because you threw it on the microphone. Oh my goodness! Fuck. Sport Double defender. Yeah, that's a good jacket for hiking. Yeah, that's like if it's rain or something, pack in, a, in, a, in a, you know, your backpack and you have it. That's nice. Thank you, Tishenka. I would like to order more stuff for me. <laughs> if you have something, bring for me. Uh -huh. That's very Irish. But yeah, Mayweather's going to win, so. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, You're baby. gonna win Hawaiian fucking transvestite. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what happened. $100 bill brownie for me. <laughs> that was the easy bet ever I made. Mm -hmm. I have to go pee. Already? Yeah, keep talking. Next subject. <laughs> Next subject. Go nice. pee and we'll keep talking. No, keep talking. No, you keep talking. I don't know why she fucking like fuck. What am I gonna talk? I need you in here. Weather. Weather. Who the fuck cares about weather? People from outside. Yeah, but they don't live where we live, so it doesn't matter. Maybe like holy shit. <laughs> If someone watches this in China, they don't want to know what the weather is in Canada. Yeah, tell them more. Fuck, like, it doesn't make any sense. Tell them more. 
Even though there's no YouTube in China, so. Listen. Weather in North Korea today, it's very unstable. <laughs> they have they have a new a new a new hmm, new how you say this special effects in TV. How the weather is showing? You have rain, you have sun, you have fog, you have snow, and you have a bomb rain. Yeah. So that's bomb rain soon coming. Mm. Enjoy the uh, people because holy crap, gonna be one big parking over there. Mm. Oh, I forgot to tell you what they say lately. Of what? Yesterday on the news they say different scenario. If we attack North Korea, automatically China take North Korea side and attack us. And then Russia jumping with China and wipe both of them. And then China and Russia together rule the world. Woo! They said in a special, like people predict uh, like a uh, future. In this mm -hmm. crazy people who predict future a long time ago, like in 19th century, the one guy predicted the exactly in this century, which is now 22 century or whatever or something. The yellow race gonna take all world so that's what happened probably soon because you never know oh and then say too like the ping pong playing he gonna bombing the guan now stupid us everybody go close to the guan but his submarines going right behind but under now and they undetectable by the radars and they parking right now by Chicago by New York City by everything so they're gonna bombing us from the underwater and we're done nobody gonna be there <clears throat> because you know I was watching yesterday about the airplane the warplane what they call a Raptor and uh, US yeah. plane and yeah. everything and they was talking about how they undetectable for radars mm -hmm. and how this work is basically or rather shoot you with uh, the signal mm -hmm. then the signal bouncing back from the whatever okay and then the radar reading the how far is this thing from you mm -hmm. but see the like Raptor stealth and every bombers US they have special make plane from which not reflect the signal he absorb so you you un visible to the radars but they thinking the north koreans submarines have exactly the same technology and they could they're going under our fucking shit and we don't even see them and they're gonna go on a park over there so it's lots of scary scenarios because he's saying two weeks and see what i'm going on is like everybody marching over there but somehow he's gonna be somewhere else he no even knowing Maybe he actually escaping from North Korea through the submarine who know nobody know where he gonna be. And what happened if that day war start and Ching Pong is in White House sitting on a chair smoking a cigar and pointing like uh, head Mr. Donald Trump already chop off because fucking his and his commander went inside and whack everybody in the White House. That's gonna be unbelievable movie. <laughs> no, no. If I don't know. Crazy times. I wish everybody come down. Start singing Kumbaya. Stop freaking rubbing your leg. Hey, that's not professional to TV. Oh yeah. Freaking. And fucking throwing jackets and checking out jackets is professional. Listen, <laughs> you have to check the jacket. <laughs> fucking. Like, holy shit. Where is my winky pinky? Alright, so... Change the subject. The world's oldest man just died. How old he was? Guess how old he was. Well, well, 94. When he was... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did you hear? What? What did you hear? I heard 194, he said. 
<laughs> I mean, 94? No. Oh, no, sorry, 124. No. 134? No. Higher? No. Lower? Yeah. 121? No. 123? No. Well, you say to me, higher or lower? I said lower. One nine... And you say 121, then 123. <laughs> Fuck you, like... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you don't know which lower. Oh, yeah. Lower than 200? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, shoot. I'm not shooting anything. Not? How <laughs> old he is? He was 113 years old. And he was a Holocaust survivor. And he was in the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest man on the planet. And then he just died. But imagine... Living 113 years. That's amazing. I want to live 114. No, imagine you hit 90 years old. Yeah. And you're like, wow, I lived a long life. I'm tired. And then you find out you're going to live another 23 years on top of that. But the best is thing. <laughs> like, holy I'm going to change quick subject. Yesterday I watched the Joe Rogan with Paul Stanley. Mm -hmm. Which was two years ago, I think so. That's an old one. Yeah, and that two years ago, Paul Stanley said about the age, he refused to be old. And guess how much on this interview Paul Stanley is, how old he is? I don't know. Like, you know, Joe Rogan is what? My age? Like 40-something? He's Joe Rogan's going to be turning 50. Yeah, that's like He's my age. He's older than you. Yeah, and he was a little boy how Paul Stanley was playing Kiss. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> Guess how much Paul Stanley is so it's two years ago? 64 years old. It's unbelievable. That not, and he's still playing jumping like crazy? That's ridiculous. Even Gene Simmons is older. Mm -hmm. Look how good they're looking for the old people. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. 64 years old. Holy shit. I think the average is like 82 or something now for people living. Yeah, but still not fucking... Jumping on the stage, running, and uh, everything. They just barely walking on I this. Don't know. They could be looking good now at 64, but when they hit 70, it could be a completely different. No, Mick story. Jagger is. Could Mick Jagger. Completely different story. Listen, Mick Jagger dancing, and he just opened a new album, and he's 80. Yeah. Chuck Norris is 80. Yeah, I know. And kicking, and I watched yesterday some kind of new commercial with him and some guy. Holy shit, he's so good still. It's ridiculous. Chuck Schwarzenegger. Norris commercial. Yeah, some guy yesterday that was po posting on YouTube again. Because I'm following Chuck Norris. So I have him always jumping to my... Like a... Mm -hmm. uh, something is thing is ringing. Yeah. So, yeah. In Hamilton. Okay. <laughs> right there was these... in our African land. There was a couple. It was in the news. They were going to go celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. So they went to go into the backyard and they found an alligator in their backyard. Oh, that was present for in them. In Hamilton. Somebody throw the alligator to the pool. They found a full fucking alligator in their backyard in Hamilton. Yeah, but where? In the pool or just No, backyard? sitting like in the backyard. They, he, the guy opens the door. He, there's a video online. You can watch it. Literally opens the door. And he goes, what the fuck? <laughs> and this dinosaur is just sitting in his backyard. Right by the door. Along the wall. How, full how fucking big? alligator. It's fucking a full alligator. Right. Probably like 8 eight to 10 feet. What? Big motherfucker. I would shit my pants. Who the fuck would think... In Hamilton, you'd go in your backyard and find an alligator. Or he escaped from this zoo, private zoo. Like it's K K called Killian Zoo. Over there, how we was, how he was little. What zoo? It called Killian's Zoo. I, what? Yeah, I never forget this zoo. Because everything in this zoo is on steroids. <clears throat> I never saw big black panther. I never see so big lion. I never see... Anything in this zoo is like humongous and muscleish. That's Black Panther, I remember. He got fucking muscles like, like human bodybuilder. 
You're not talking about African Lion Safari? No, no, no. This is the only zoo no, in Hamilton. No, no, no. It's private zoo. If you're texting, it's in Killian Zoo. We was with you. I have on video how I'm with you and your mom and everything. And you can pet the cops. They have tiger cops. You can pet, make pictures, play with them. Everything with this zoo. It's I feel like And this then, this no, you just name. shut up and okay. it's not this. And, and every cage to turkey feet. They feed them with huge turkeys. So how the lion quap them, just legs left. Yeah. Every, the best is one cage. Every cage I'm coming with you, you was a little, I have on video. And I say, look, turkey legs, they was get fed. Next cage we get over there, <clears throat> this is tiger. Look, it's turkey legs. Next cage, two rubber boots. What? <laughs> <laughs> they eat the fucking guy. <laughs> <clears throat> and the one moment is the best. I never forget your mother face. We're going in this tiger cage, yeah? Yeah. There's two tigers in a cage, and you see behind the cage is field, yeah? Okay. Like open field, field. and you have a forest or something. Yeah, yeah. And you're looking, <laughs> and on this field is big tiger sitting, loose. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck? And you're like, let's go home, let's go home, let's go home! <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! The tiger is loose behind the cages over there. I'm you like, should have told her to go pet the tiger. Uh, I I want That's to. What you I will done. be. I just want her to, you know. You should have told her go play with the tiger. that will be. Uh, that will be. Yeah, no. Crazy. So Killian Zoo in Hamilton area somewhere. Because I remember somewhere upper Hamilton we went over there. She find out this thing and we and say, okay, we got but I'm tell you right now, the panther or mm -hmm. the lion the mountain lion. Cougar. Cougarish. Humongous I gonna one day transfer my shit from tapes. And that, oh yeah, when are you gonna do oh, that? I was, when are you mm. gonna do that? Where are my listen, fucking listen. tapes? Yesterday, ye yesterday I was testing. I was going on YouTube and the guy <laughs> showing. You have a normal Kim Cutter. Yeah. And then you have to buy Kim Cutter from two thousand nine. Okay. Who have special base underneath? Who allowed you transfer everything to the digital bag? So he basically have. Old concoder going to this base where is this newer concoder and that's concoder recording digitally and you can straight to computer going. So that's what I was working yesterday. <clears throat> He's saying, like you know, oh that's concoder can 50 bucks. Yesterday again, I was on free market two weeks ago. I find only one camera. Yesterday I went to the uh, Salvation Army, whatever theft store. I can find nothing with eight millimeters. And I was looking for the jacket, like a flower jacket again. They still don't have it. Mm hmm You have to wash your face. I did. I took a shower before oh. this everything. Oh, okay. So you have to... So... You have itchy eyes. So, yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> are we working on it? But yeah, I think so this winter I, got, I should have it, everything ready. Like... I have to figure out everything. I have to figure out how to put them digital, how to, from digital put the mistakes. <coughs> I'm gonna go <coughs> with. <coughs> oh my god! You gonna talk I or are you gonna are you gonna keep cocking? I'll cock in the mouth. <laughs> ah. Listen. <laughs> All right. I think so. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? How? Yeah. What do you mean? How? Well, yeah. Oh, I'm checking time. Okay, so <clears throat> change the subject. Okay. So far this year, every waterfall I've hiked in Hamilton, either someone has died hiking it or needed rescue from the waterfall, like helicopter rescue. Like, people are fucked up. I don't understand how. They're straight up, ma like, made trails. 
you follow the trails, you won't die. It's that simple. I don't understand how people are dying at these places. Hiking. They don't pay attention, that's why. They fucking, oh, oh it's funny. And they want to impress their friends, they're running, and then with freaking big, whoo, numb nuts thing, what I call, and you fall. Every time I have my gauge in my body, every time I'm going to some kind of unknown height, my nuts get numb. <laughs> or my legs get numb. I lose my nuts <laughs> when I see heights. So that's what's gonna happen. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so people falling, people hanging, people have to be rescued. Listen, let's talk about about the uh, Taylor Swift oh. with that court case oh, happening I have to right go now. Pee. You're going pee again? That's your second time. Taylor Alrighty. Swift, what keep you, talking. No, I want your opinion on it. <laughs> I'm listening. It's supposed to be a conversation show. Oh my. And you're fucking peeing every 20 minutes. You fucking... Say what? What do you mean you don't know nothing about Taylor Swift? Okay. Okay. The fascination is the court case she's having against this DJ that grabbed her ass. Yes, yes. How she's suing him for one whole dollar. Prove the point. For sexually touching her without her permission. She said, no sir, I don't like it when you grab my asshole. I don't want you to grab my butthole. And fucking... The guy's like, I didn't grab your asshole. And then she's like, yeah, I you have a grabbed. picture to prove. She's like, <laughs> even a security guard testified saying, yeah, he grabbed her ass. They was asking the woman who made the picture on yesterday on TMZ that she see he grabbed her ass. Yeah. And she said, yeah. So uh, they were showing her court case yesterday and she said she was very, very, like... No emotion, no nothing, just very conduct themselves and everything, and when everything was smooth. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, can she win or she lose or whatever? No, she's win. She's definitely winning. She's proving a point with the sexual winning. With the sexual stuff. Yeah, baby. That's like with uh, Kesha coming back. She has. She's done everything now. What she do you won. Mean? She won with this guy. Kesha never won anything with the guy. No, she just came back. Yeah, she came back making music. She yeah, made but the they new said album. She... she was under... Okay, with yeah. Kesha, what happened was she was accusing a music producer... Sexual abuse her. For sexual abuse, Jeez. which she lost everything on because she had no proof of him sexually touching her, like nothing. Literally nothing on him. Then she fucked herself over with that because she was signed with Sony and she didn't have permission to make music after for like two years. So she basically had to sit at home with no job, nothing. So now she... So now she just made a new... She just made a new album because Taylor Swift gave her $250,000 to help her make a new album because she was fighting that case for like two years and then she couldn't work for another two years so she's been like sitting at home for like at least three four years she had a lot of songs now because she just came out with a new album that's what i'm saying she and had... all her fucking songs are about is just basically like oh time to move on you know like fucking well, listen you have to sing about something yeah but it's like it's crazy how you know what I mean? You're trying... Because I know people that were falsely accused of rape. And they, like, ruined their lives because of these stupid women. Who said that they were sexually assaulted, but never sexually assaulted. And they can never keep a story straight. And it's just kind of fucked up 
how abuse of power women are using now to to gain advantages for no reason. You know what I mean? It's like a ego trip. It's so egotistical with women these days. Trying to prove something that they don't need to prove because they're already equals to everyone. So it doesn't make any sense why they're taking like advantages like this. Yeah, that's I'm I'm listening. I'm agree with some So of it's like we have it's a, fucked we have up people, how this world is. We turning. have the people men who it's crazy and we have women who is crazy. And fifty fifty. Some, it's just like but I'm see, not, I know I'm liking I know liking not, uh, you know some courts you know woman take the woman side always no you have to yeah be it doesn't make sense and it's make fifty fifty that's a biased opinion biased opinion because you know what I mean because like like with the Kesha thing no idea like I don't mean. know if she went crazy I don't, because she was dating him he broke up with her or she broke up with him and then she started saying all this bullshit after. You know what I mean? So that's what happened to my friend that I used to go to high school with. The same thing happened to him. <laughs> Which one? I had a friend who was dating a girl in high school. They were dating. Then she falsely accused him of raping her. Even though they were boyfriend and girlfriend dating. Okay. Which doesn't make any sense. Then she got five other girls... To join in with her to falsely accuse him of raping them. So he literally went to jail in high school. Went to court. None of their stories were straight whatsoever. And it basically he had to sit in jail for like a year. Listening to bullshit stories. Then he had to leave Niagara. And he left Niagara. He's never going to come back here again. Because that's how fucked up people are around here. Tell more what we <clears throat> People think well, more people think Canada is like we're oh nice people. Oh my god! Stop! I, I fucking, say about my African country. So it's much. It's such details. a fucked up country. Like how people think here and how people live. No, people abuse the system. Not, no, that's the people. yeah. That's the problem. That's the people. Not yeah, country. that is the country no, of no, people. That's, that's the people. That's the people. Have too much freedom and they yap about everything, and then then they abuse the system. And some innocent people get punished for that. Like it's fucked up, and it's like the same thing with the Taylor Swift case, like. It's literally women abusing their power. Like, you know what I mean? If Taylor Swift grabbed a fucking guy's ass, like a DJ's ass in a picture, he wouldn't fucking Nobody sue Nobody care her about nothing. Taylor Swift. No one, no one would care. You know? Kiss maybe gonna have a new album. No one fucking cares <laughs> about Kiss. Yes. To Kiss Nation. They're the biggest piece of shit band I've ever heard in my oh, life. Oh, shut up. You know you like the Kiss. No, Love I guns. don't. No. What is your the favorite uh, Kiss uh, Yeah, song? my favorite Kiss song, no one's even heard of it. Jungle. Yeah, but you never heard of it till no. I brought it up. No, no. You don't even know what album it's on. What album is it on? Car- Kiss Carnival. Album. You think so? Yeah, I know so. You Google it. No, I know. Carnival. I don't think it is on Carnival. <laughs> See, because I know Kiss... I don't I have don't. to Google. No, you have to Google. I have this album. No, I'm telling you, you don't. Where did you get this music from? From my Google. stuff. No. Yeah. How did you find I looked up this? online. No, but you yeah. have this song no, from my lo- album. No, I looked up because I tried one day to figure out why you fucking love this retarded band named Kiss. So I actually Googled every song they've ever made. You know who like Kiss? And then I... F- you know who like Kiss <laughs> beside me? Bro. Joe Rogan. He loved the Kiss. I don't fucking care. So we both, normal, and you're not normal. No, this... But you the- pick it up one song too, so you like Kiss too. No, I don't like them <sighs> like as a... I just... I I like mean, a band, not like a band. Because they played this song like a band called Jungle from Carnival Album. So I don't sh- think it's from Carnival. It is Carnival Album. It's fucking the, the craziness... The last popular album ever they made. Well, I don't know. I don't think... Uh, I was, That was the only song I liked, Jungle. 
I don't like Google now. Just shut up. Just Google Kiss Jungle. Go, go, quiet. And see what album it's from. You know, so. Yeah. Song Jungle. Kiss. Which album from? You talk so ass backwards there. Don't say because this fucking pick you up. No. Sure, sure I up. thought Siri only recognizes your voice and no, no one else's voice. <laughs> How I'm stopped talking TV is loud. Everything what TV said is over there. Oh well, fuck. Oi, now you screw up. Shut up. You always have How did big I screw mouth. Up? See, you can't shut up. Zip it I before can. I s- zip You're, it. I don't see you pressing anything. So why do I have to shut up? I have to find out that I write everything. Jungle, which album from? Okay. <laughs> you fuck. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna sit here in silence because it takes you fucking so long. Carnival of Souls. Yeah, that's the jungle from. Where? Jungle. Well, I Yo, gotta see. I ask and they pop out. Yeah. So it's this. Yo. Carnival of Souls. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thanks to Carnivals. Oh, thanks to my uh, my Greg. No, because away. you were saying so, the album's called Carnival. Yeah, of the souls. Maybe no, I forget you... the name, but I know it was Carnival because it was, I remember like Carnival, and they not even have a, a cover, for Carnival. No, the cover is just them. Yeah, but but that's very good album, like uh, musically. Carnival of Souls. Yeah, it's very heavy, very nice guitars and everything. It's like darkish album, like not how they do it. But that's what is Kiss about. So Paul Stanley, last interview two weeks ago on some podcast. The newest, what I find out, he said he don't want to do something, but they're going to do something different. Gene Simmons have a few uh, songs already, but Paul Stanley said he want to really something complete different with not repeat on every album. So that's they going to... Yeah, good luck with that, because so far fucking... Because I, I remember Sonic like Boom Revenge, sounded Revenge like was completely fucking different than everything else. Yeah. Uh, Heaven on Fire, the album was unbelievable, beautiful. The Lick It Up, the album, or Creature of the Night, this one, was a really big album too. Was here was uh, Listen Loud or Play Loud. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Play Loud. That was a good song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on the last uh, Monster Tour was very good song. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> what? And then, what? <laughs> I tell you right now, I'm backing to the kiss. I'm going to dig in today for the jungle. I want to listen to this fucking album. I know it's somewhere in my fucking That's the only kiss case. song. That's the only kiss song. No, but I not like. just kiss. Like the old album, I want to listen to fucking all album. Yeah, but I'm saying Jungle was the one, that was the only one I liked. Jungle. But it's so dark. I remember how I first time got it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I didn't like it first time. And then how you like this song, I started listening again. And I'm saying, wow, it's actually a good album. Because, you know, I used to do my colorful Yeah, because colorful I, f- I find the good and stuff and then you realize it's good. No, but like this album in particular was after, I think so, Revenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like after Domino, after the Unholy, that was a good song. That the, uh, Revenge album have lots of good songs. With uh, Take It Off, that was the first song where they invite strippers on the stage and they would take care of everything. Mm-hmm. I remember that I have from the concert i was on this concert and then but anyway like that's just part of my youth i remember like today i was like i think so eight i went to my friend's house and i was listening something but not crazy just you know and then i see his poster and i'm like what the fuck is this i said this kiss and I'm like, 
that's awesome. That's my band. No hear it, no nothing, just from visual. And then I hear it. Oh my god, that was more what I was thinking they playing like. Mm -hmm. It was like nothing like anything else how they play the songs that day. It's ridiculous. Like uh Firehouse, Rock and Roll All Night. Uh what was yes uh, this uh any kind of songs from this area uh album alive 2 alive 1 that was the best freaking albums unbelievable they were so dynamic you after every song after every song is better it's like ridiculous good and imagination start working so ridiculous it's like i remember was playing non-stop two albums life and life 2 non-stop non stop it was no such a thing silence and no kiss it was kiss and i remember it was like sun going to my room and i have a poster kiss they playing i'm looking through the window and i'm looking on kiss poster looking through the window looking through the kiss posters and i listen kiss and i'm like oh my god my life is awesome mm -hmm. and my car i have a car I think so it was 1970 something first Audi Quattro and I have a poster from company because how you write before you write they send you nice posters to the companies and you know like brochures and everything because there was no internet so they send you nice poster I frame it and I'm always said one day I gonna buy Audi. I think it's time to buy. I blow up my car yesterday. <laughs> and time to buy Audi eight A A eight. Used one, but I want Audi finally. Quattro. Hmm. My dad always said, You always want Audi. I don't understand why you still have no Audi. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm getting Audi. And my I gonna accomplish everything I want. That's gonna be the car from my how I was little. First car where I always wanted was Audi. Chris Pratt and Anna Ferris got a divorce. They're separating. It was very sad. <laughs> I like Chris Pratt. He's fucking good. He is good. In Jurassic Park, he's fun, hilarious. He's Chris Pratt. Is every movie is Chris Pratt? Is no, he no play nothing else, just himself. Himself, yeah. It's That's literally funny, funny. No character in any movie. Yeah, like I was thinking. He's in, not even in it's Jurassic like, Park. He's gonna not start even talking act. about uh, Lord. Uh, what his name is? Lord. Uh, <laughs> what his name is from Lord. Galaxy? What his character is named? Star Lord. Yeah, I was thinking Jurassic Park. He said w w to this woman, "What will be Star Lord doing in this situation?" <laughs> I like his movie with this Jennifer something. In the Jennifer space. something. How she, she wake up with? Oh, the passengers. Yeah, passengers. This was a good one. I like any movie. What he is in. I just didn't really watch this movie lately, with uh, this western. He was play. Oh, the Magnificent Seven with uh, Denzel Washington. Magnificent Seven or Six? Seven. I think it was Six. No, it's Ridiculous Six with Adam Sandler. No, but it was Magnificent no, Six. No, it's Magnificent Seven with Denzel Washington and him. And then the Quentin Tarantino movie is called Hateful Eight. I think it's Magnificent Six. Seven. Why Seven? Because I never already Six was taken. And eight was taken. Oh my god, shut up. What do you mean shut uh, up? I gotta check the number. Okay, tell me again how dogs are colorblind. Okay. They, can, they can see colors. Stop Go it. ahead. I'm gonna talk to the city. <laughs> Magnificent six? S seven. Okay, seven? <laughs> okay, quiet. There's no six. Okay, quiet. <laughs> I know he can do it. It's ridiculous six. six. I know. Can you shut You're up? not talking. I, I want it. I read you. Sh I can do it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Magnificent Seven. Oh shit! You're right. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> yeah. Magnificent Seven. With him, Ethan Hawke, Denzel Washington. Yeah. yeah, it was right. I don't know why I was thinking six. Must be this because of uh, Smirnoff. Yeah. But uh, Chris Pratt and Anna Faris separated. They have a one son. I think it's three years or four years old, or five years old. He was on the. They were showing how he was in the how he get the lately the star on Hollywood, mm-hmm. and he was with them. No. Oh, What's well. your favorite Anna Faris movie? <laughs> the thing where she played Playboy chick. <laughs> the house bunny. Yeah, that's it. I know only one movie she played. Really? Oh, she played in the movie. Scary movie. Scary movies. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah, fucking yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I like her. But she have now the show Moms. Mom? Yeah, she has a sitcom or something. Yeah, that's funny. Her mom, her, she's like divorced woman. Her mom is divorced woman. And they live together and, you know, funny. I sometimes watch it. She's very funny on this show. So, yeah. Yeah, well. Chick get ugly. Time to new chick. <laughs> he get really nice looking. Like compared to ten years ago, he was like chubby Chuck. Yeah, he and was now on he's sh- really unbelievable. He, he was on the show with uh, Amy Poehler and Aziz Ansari. Yeah, and then Parks and Recreation. Yeah, or something and then like that. Uh, then uh, imagine now he's so hunky and everything. He even supposed to play the Indiana Jones or something, new one. Yeah, they were saying that, but I don't think so. Because Her- I think Harrison Ford's going to do the Indiana Jones new one. He already did new Blade Runner with Ryan Gosling. I think yeah, he's like, going to yeah. I think he's going to do new Indiana Jones. I, can- I think he's going to die soon. You think Harrison Ford's going to die soon? Yeah, but like not uh, because he's flying these planes like crazy. Yeah. And he uh, reporting to the tower that's helicopter <laughs> coming. And he's in a plane. Yeah. They played this message. Yeah. Say, I'm in the helicopter. I'm like, how are you in helicopter if you're in plane? Nice wings on your helicopter. Yeah, and then he going above the other plane with almost standing. It's ridiculous. Like, he can't see. Mm-hmm. He survived, like, one even crash, too. There was no... To the golf course. And he crushed his mouth and everything right before the Star Wars. Did you hear how Shane McMahon survived the helicopter crash? I told you about this. But I was... He no crash. Yeah, he did. No, no, he, he crashed in the no, no, helicopter. No, no, but he, yeah, I, I, I see this whole situation on, on the. And TV. he was, uh, and they were laughing on Edge and Christian's show. They were laughing like I know. Shane McMahon saying like, "Holy fuck!" He, he probably just walked out of the helicopter and he's like, "Oh, no, well, well, fucking crash." No, no, no. What happened is, <laughs> what happened is, <clears throat> he had this helicopter who have like pontoons legs. Yeah. So he landed on the lake. Yeah. And the helicopter complete die, and he called. Coast Guard and they came over there, but if you have this inflatable things, uh, it will be complete crash. Mm-hmm. But because this, they survive. That's it. What I saw on TMZ and everything, like was this, he was swimming and the boat Coast Guard came and shoved them. But that was scary for him going down. Mm-hmm. Something went wrong. He had to land in him and his family. It was not funny. Like uh, that's like. Uh, Four hundred fifty thousand dollars helicopter. It's not so big, not so small. Like you know, private use. Yeah. I don't know why they laugh. That's not funny. Because you know, well, nobody crashed. because they said from his interview he did after they interviewed him on the news and they said it was like the typical like he didn't break character. <laughs> Shane McMahon oh, okay. on the news like <laughs> oh, I do stunts all the time. <laughs> Guys jumping off like 30 foot cages. No problem. Yes. But yeah. All right. That's the No. Sh- what? That's the show. One, what? One hour. Wait a second. What do you mean, wait a second? Academy. Does... One. Done. No. <laughs> what do you uh, mean, no? What is the. What? Who? Who? Huh? What? Okay. Eh? Listen. Bye. <laughs> hello, hello. We're done. That's it. Okay. Brudnagatki out. <laughs>